Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to FPS Gaming. We are playing some Transformers Earth Wars and we are in day two of the One Step Beyond Alliance event. This bad boy is only for half a mil battle points and as you can see my alliance we are well on our way to completing this bad boy at 318,721 battle points. So let's go ahead and score some real quick. Going to take the A team out for a spin, but I have my four star nose cone on this team right now just to get him some XP while my new four star Optimus is leveling to level 41. And I got my four star level 16 Magna Boss activated. So we are going to score some pretty major points here. I haven't used Magna Boss in a video yet, so I figured I'd uh, let him turn loose. And I think I'm going to start the battle with just Magna Boss and see uh, see what he havoc he can wreak. I may launch Nose Cone just to, uh, just to get him some XP if Magna Boss can solo this. I don't think he will. He can solo Zone 12, but Zone 13 is a little, what you want, but a little out of his reach. What you want to do with Magna Boss is the first thing you want to do is the Feather Tornado. And you want to do it as far out as you can. Launch him in with his ability. That way he's healing from the Feather Tornado. Then you want to launch the Fire ability that's going to keep him from taking damage for a few seconds. While the Feathers heal him to get his health back up. Then from there, you just keep devastating. Magna Boss is so awesome. I'm so lucky to have this bot. And those two... Those two um, missile launchers, excuse me, I'm trying to focus on what I'm doing here. Let's see if we can take both of them out because there we go. Because they were doing some mega damage on old Magna Boss here. And I don't think, we're not quite going to solo it, I don't think. Yeah, just barely didn't get it. So we'll launch, uh, we'll launch Skyburst with Nose Cone. That should be enough to get this. In fact, I probably could have just done that. Nope. Not quite. It's okay, though. We'll get there. All right, let's fast forward a little bit. Oh, they're having a hard time getting through the walls. There we go. Use uh, an ability there. Now, these are going to be the real tests, these outpost bots. But I think, uh, I think we can handle them, especially with... There we go. Boom! Nice! Victory. So, as you can see, Magna Boss... Super helpful. Zone 13. Got Nose Cone leveled up. Not too shabby. Pretty awesome. I love Magna Boss. I love him. I got my four star Omega Supreme. If you watch the botcast, I got him. I'm currently got him upgrading to a four star. And now I have Magna Boss on the ready. I plan on getting Omega Supreme to 14 or 15. Then I'll go back and finish Magna Boss all the way to 20. And then I'll finish Omega Supreme. That's the plan. But anyway, let's look here at the leaderboard. And as you can see, yours truly, that head start I got with that new joiner bundle has really helped. I'm number one on the leaderboard for right now anyway at 15,235. I'm rocking and rolling this weekend. Not only with the fuel cells from the new joiner bundle, but also with Magna Boss's help every morning to really score some extra points. So I'm pretty excited. I don't know why my game will continuously go back into the event when I leave out. But I'm out of fuel cells, so let's go ahead and let's look and see how the Crystal Kraken's coming along. As you can see, we got 28 free crystals, 16 premiums, 12 free chips, 4 gold power cores... 20 premium combat ships, a 4-star and a 3-star crystal. It is going to be a nice crystal cracking. And I don't know if I'm going to have a, a daily update tomorrow. My alliance may be finished with the event. If we are, there probably won't be a daily update. If we are still like in the closing hours of the event, I'll definitely try to get one made and uploaded for you. But uh, yeah, if not though, that Crystal Kraken will be bright and early Monday morning, so definitely want to check that out. And also, I recently just got a message from my buddy Daryl DJ Hart, who I do the pod, um, the the podcast, the botcast with, and he informed me that Dale did choose one of the names we put in 
um, that we picked for the free Cyber Pass. And he is going to announce that in his Crystal Kraken, which will be Monday night or Tuesday morning, he will announce who won it. So definitely tune into that, especially if you were one of the names that were nominated, and see if you got a free Cyber Pass. Really exciting, so definitely check that out over on his channel, the Arrow DJ Heart. And uh, that's pretty much all I have for today, so I will see y'all later. Same bot time, same bot channel. Frankster out.